this video, we'll learn to create and save great guitar sounds in Logic Pro X. Get started by creating a new project in Logic Pro X and creating an audio track. I begin with an audio track because it strips down the channel with no settings or effects or inputs or anything on it. That way I can build up my guitar sound from scratch. So now I'll proceed to build up my guitar sound like I usually do. And then I'll save the channel strip and we can see our options once saved and how to move forward. So I'll go ahead and hide a couple windows here. Begin by clicking the inspector button here so we can see the different channel effects. First thing I'm going to do is enable EQ here. I'll go ahead and, and I'm going to go ahead and set it to a guitar effect. And I will choose and I will choose Classic Guitar Improve. Let's see what that sounds like. You can see there's a little bit more depth there. Next thing I'll do is by clicking here we're going to be adding plugins to add to the sound of the guitar and I'll go ahead and add an amplifier here so I can go down here and choose an amp designer the only option is mono and here you can see the box that they've chosen and let's go ahead and listen to that already you can hear even more sound effects here and one of the neat things you can do is switch out um, microphones by, ch by using this drop down list here and the other thing you can do is move your microphone around to get even more effects from your amplifier. So that sounds great. The next thing I usually add is some, um, uh, some a compressor. So you can choose a compressor um, by going Let's see where it is. Going to the dynamic select uh, dynamics drop down here and choosing compressor mono. And here once again you can choose a selection for guitar and uh, modify it further, which is what I usually do, but for this I'll just choose guitar electric. And now we can hear the effect of that. So I like that. That sounds pretty good. The next thing I'm going to do is add a pedal board so we can add even more effects to our guitar sound. The pedal board is here under the amps and pedals, <laughs> amps and pedals section and just choose mono. And up comes your pedal board. You can adjust the size right here if you'd like. And off to the right here are all the different um, pedals uh, available to you. So I'll go ahead and um, I'll just choose some chorus. We'll do a retro chorus and now we'll see how that affects the guitar sound. Click the sync button here, crank up the rate and depth a little bit so we can hear it more. all kinds of different pedals you can choose from here and if I want to dirty it up a little bit here I can choose something like the Monster Fuzz. Pretty cool sound, I actually think I'm going to leave it right there. Some of the other things you can do here um, is I like this multi-presser op multi um, option here 
and I'll choose it in the drop down list here if we can find it. Uh, yeah, it's under the dynamic section. Choose the mono here. And this is uh, really helpful because you can really own in on your sound here. So what I'm going to do is uh, record something and put it on a loop and then we can uh, further modify it with the multiprocessor here. stop that recording right here and now if I put a loop on the track here we can really uh, change the sound by using this control in front of us As you can see, that's a pretty uh, cool thing to use right there. So the final thing I'm going to go over is how to change this channel strip. So those are just some um, simple examples of the uh, plugins that I use. And you know, as you're going along here, you can pop into any of these and adjust the levels as you see fit. And once you get a sound you like, come right over here and click on this box. Uh, oops, and click on this setting here and choose cha save channel strip setting as and you'll get this option here to name your channel strip setting and we'll call this new how about great guitar sound so now that you have that channel strip as you move forward if you want to create a new track and you're playing out and uh, you, you need to get up and running quickly you can just go ahead here's your new audio track and load a, your um, channel strip settings which is right here the great guitar sound and you can see right here everything I just set up previously was all set for me and now I can go ahead and play my guitar just like we had it before and say you're not happy with the pedal board effects and you want to turn them off you can come right in here turn them off and now you can go back and select save channel strip setting as and simply overwrite your setting that you had previously and now you're good to go with your new setting thanks so much for watching I hope you enjoyed this video and found it helpful. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comment section below.